the 2012-2013 Royal Basketball season tips off tonight here as the Hamilton Southeastern Royals welcome their rivals, the Fishers Tigers, tonight here on audiosportsonline.com. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another season of Royals basketball as the Royals will take on the Fishers Tigers tonight. And we will begin things with the JV contest before the varsity tips off at around 7.30 here on ASO. It was a successful season last year for Hamilton Southeastern. And for the JV squad, even more so, they were 19-1 and last year. It's one of the, the things that... Uh, Head coach Brian Satterfield for the varsity team says it's going to be one of his uh, one of his advantages this season as they expect to have a deep bench. And uh, a lot of that can be attributed to a very, very successful JV team that the Royals had last season. So we will tip off the boys' basketball season tonight. It will be a busy week of basketball here for the Royals on Audio Sports Online. Boys tonight, girls tomorrow against Fishers at Fishers before wrapping up the holiday weekend with a game for the boys Friday night at the Bowman Academy up near Gary and then closing out Saturday with the girls at Carmel. But we'll tip things off with the junior varsity. The head coach for the Royals is Calvin Bembry, and they will take on a Tigers JV team that is head coach by Ray Tolbert. Let's give you the starting lineups first for the visiting Fishers Tigers. At a guard is a 5'10 freshman, Andre Small. At the other guard, a 5'9 freshman, Zach Eaton. At the third guard is a 5'11 sophomore, Nick Farrell. At forward is a 6'5 freshman, Cam Walter. And the other forward is a 6'3 sophomore, Max Moore. So once again in the front court, it will be Small, Eaton, and Farrell. The back court will be Walter and Most. For the Hamilton Southeastern Royals, head coach is Calvin Bembry. Starting at a guard will be a 5'11 junior Max Hankins. The other guard is a 6'3 junior Grant Leach. The third guard, a 5'11 junior Mac Mason Hankins. At forward, a 6'5 sophomore Josiah Johnson. And at center, a 6'6 junior Jack Kramer. So once again, the backcourt is Max Hankins, Grant Leach, and Mason Hankins. And up front, Kramer and Johnson. It will be Jack Kramer jumping center against Cam Walter as we get ready to begin another season of Royals basketball. The tip is up, and it is controlled by Hamilton Southeastern. So pull up a chair. Hope you enjoy another season of Hamilton Southeastern basketball and ASO. Three ball from the left wing is up. It's no good by Max Hankins. Rebound fought for underneath. Loose ball finally corralled by the Tigers of Fishers. This is Zach Eaton with the basketball. as a big start to this season. Not only a Hoosier Crossroads Conference contest start the season, but against rival Fishers. As the Tigers now have the basketball against a man-to-man defense currently employed by the Royals. Ball was tapped out, but coming up to get the loose ball was Max Morse. His shot no good, and the Royals come down with it. Now we'll swing it around to the left wing, and as Zach Eaton makes a move, he's going to be, or excuse me, as uh, Max Hankins makes a move, and he will say he shuffled his feet. And the basketball will be turned over to the Fishers Tigers. Just underway in the junior varsity game as the Royals employ a little bit of full court pressure. And they get the ball in the hands of Andre Small. A lot of freshmen here on this Tigers team as they look to move it around and try to fit it down into the low post to Cam Walter. Walter does get it, but he'll have to kick it back out. Three ball is on the way from Andre Small. It rims out and into the hands of Mason Hankins. Mason will dribble up. Leave it off for his brother Max. And will then give the ball up to Grant Leach. No score. 443 remains in this first quarter of play. Expect a big crowd here at Hamilton Southeastern. And now we have a whistle and another turnover. We'll give the ball back to the Fishers Tigers. Again, a very successful JV program. And in our coaches podcast, Earlier this week, I talked to Coach Satterfield, and while there are some questions at the varsity level with seven seniors as this ball is poked away by Mason Hankins, but it will remain with the Tigers. While the Royals at the varsity level graduated seven, Coach Satterfield believes a very, very strong JV team from last year as well as a freshman team leaves them in good shape. They get the ball down low into Walters, but his little turnaround jumper is no good. 
And the ball is rebounded by Leach. This is Mason Hankins with the basketball. Gets the hands into Leach. Pulls up. Lays it off the glass. And the first two points of this contest belong to Hamilton Southeastern with four minutes left to go in the first quarter. Again, we expect a big, big crowd here at Hamilton Southeastern, part of a busy, busy holiday week for both the boys and the girls' teams as the Tigers work it down low into the post. That ball is knocked away by Josiah Johnson, and the block will go off of the Tigers, and it will belong to the Royals. Johnson able to block that shot. Now Brady Fleming will enter the contest for the Tigers. He will replace Andre Small. Three minutes, 46 seconds remain in quarter number one. We are at Hamilton Southeastern High School and Southeastern with a 2-0 lead. Quarter number one of the JV game. As the Tigers will go into a 2-3 zone and Royals swing it around. Three ball left wing is short by Grant Leach. Down low is Johnson and Josiah Johnson is able to put it back up and in and Southeastern leads 4 to nothing. Dribbling with the basketball is Nick Farrell. A little runner in the lane. Right hander is no good, but a nice put back up. Put back tap by Cam Walter. Gives the Tigers their first two points of the contest. They trail 4 to 2. Three minutes left in the first quarter. Mason Hankins for three. That shot's no good. And running out with the basketball is Brady Fleming. Fleming will get to the other end. He'll put up the shot, but they'll wave it off, saying the foul occurred on the floor. And the Tigers will go to the line on the first foul of the evening. Foul will go against Max Hankins. That's his first team first, and the Tigers will take it out of bounds on the end line. They trail 4-2 to two as substitutions now for Southeastern. As entering the game will be Tyler Scholl. And Dominique Hall as Grant Leach and Max Hankins will take a seat on the bench. 4-2, Southeastern with the lead, Tigers with the basketball. Looking to get it in, good defense, and they will throw it in to Brady Fleming. Fleming goes left side, three ball on the way, that one rims out. Loose ball is going to be controlled by the Tigers, Zach Eaton, and he'll reset the offense. 2.40 2.40 left to go in the first quarter. 4-2 is our score. Royals with the, ba- with the lead. Tigers with the basketball. Nick Farrell with the basketball gives it up. Three ball on the way. That one's no good. And clearing it for the Royals is Dominique Hall. He'll give it to Mason Hankins. Hall from the left elbow puts up the jumper. Shot no good, but we'll have a whistle and a foul against the Tigers. That should send Hall to the line to shoot a pair of free throws. Foul is going to go against Cam Walter. That's his first team first against the Tigers. And Dominique Hall will go to the line to shoot two. First free throw is up, hits back iron, and falls out. More substitutions for the Royals. Max Hankins returns. And for the Tigers, Nick Farrell leaves. Lance Dollison is now in. One more free throw for Dominique Hall. As the Royals have a two-point lead, as the officials discuss. As the second free throw on its way, and that one is good. Hall hits one of two, and now a timeout called by head coach Calvin Bembry of Hamilton Southeastern. It's a 30-second timeout with the Royals leading 5-2. 221 remains in quarter number one here in the junior varsity game. Glad you could join us here on Audio Sports Online. Again, my name's Brian Scott. A busy, busy week of basketball here on ASO. For the boys, we'll have tonight's game, of course, and then we will have Friday night's game that will take place at the Thea Bowman Academy. That is up in Gary, Indiana, as the Royals... Head up there for uh, what is going to be a very rare overnight contest, uh, overnight trip, and we will talk about that more in the uh, toward the varsity game. As coming out of the timeout, the Tigers will have the basketball trailing by two or by three with 2:16 remaining 
in this first quarter of play. Tigers with the basketball as Fleming goes back left side and good defense by the Royals as now they switch off as Hall switches off his man. Here's a three top of the key. No good by Zach Eaton. Put back up and in by Cam Walter. Walter with all four of the Tigers points and both of his buckets have come back come on uh, put back attempts and it's a 5-4 Royal lead. Here's a long range three on its way. Shot no good by Max Hankins. The Tigers clear the rebound. Giving it up the quarters, Brady Fleming, but he is cut off, and now a steal by Hamilton Southeastern. Coming back the other way, Hall leaves it off to, to Tyler Scholl, and Scholl puts it up and in, and the lead's back to three for the Royals. A minute 16 remains in this first quarter. Another long-range three for Fishers is no good, and the Tigers, who are shooting quite a few threes here in this opening quarter, come up empty again as the Royals have the rebound. They have the three-point lead and the basketball with a minute left to play here in quarter number one. Down low into Scholl, into the low paint, throws it up off the glass, and Tyler Scholl has his fourth point. Nine to four, JV Royals with the lead. 47 seconds remain in quarter number one. Dribbling around a screen is Lance Dollison. Now he'll give the ball up to Brady Fleming. Fleming guarded by Scholl. Gives the ball up. This is Zach Eaton. Once again, handoff. This is back to Fleming. Fleming, long range three is up. And finally, the Tigers are able to hit a three to cut the deficit to two points at nine to seven. 22 seconds remain in this first quarter. We'll see if the Royals play for the final shot of the quarter with a two point lead as backing it out for the Royals is Max Hankins. Here comes the Royals as they meet the basketball. Seven seconds remain down low. Here's Hankins. Feeds it down low into the paint. Here's Johnson. Johnson shot no good. Gets his own rebound. Puts it up. Shot's no good. No foul called. And that's the end of the first quarter of play. Hamilton Southeastern and the Fishers Tigers in the season opener. JV game. And at the end of the first quarter, it's the Royals with a 9-7 lead. You're watching Royals basketball on Audio Sports Online. Hamilton Southeastern with a two-point lead as we head into the second quarter. Brian Scott here at Hamilton Southeastern High School. Boys, season opener tonight as the Royals welcome the Fisher Tigers. Not only going against a big rival but an H- and an HCC opponent as well. So big, big season opener here for Hamilton Southeastern. We see some red across the way as, of course, the Tigers well represented to begin this second quarter on the court. Tyler Janney now on the court for Hamilton Southeast, and he'll be joined by Mason Hankins, Grant Leach, Max Hankins, and Keegan Culp. Tigers have the basketball to begin the second quarter, and a steal by Chris Ford, excuse me, Chris Ford on the floor, but it was then knocked off of his leg out of bounds, and the Tigers will keep possession. 9-7, Royals with the lead. Tigers could tie it for the first time or take the lead with a three, which they have been shooting rather uh, in abundance here early in this contest. As Andre Small with the basketball, he gives it over left side, almost poked away, but Tigers retain possession as Small dribbles with the basketball, looking for some room, tries to go around the screen, a little pick and roll action. Feeds down low to Joe Wilcox. Wilcox can't get the basket to drop, but on the putback, he's going to earn a trip to the free throw line as the foul will be called against Southeastern. Tyler Janney will be called for the personal, his first team second, and to the line 
for a pair is Joel Wilcox. First free throw is up. It's good. Substitution now for Fishers as Max Morris returns to the lineup. And he replaces Lance, he replaces Lance Dollison. Meanwhile, Wilcox at the line. He can tie this game with a free throw. And he does so, making two of two. And we are tied at nine with 526 to remaining in this first half. And as trying to feed it into the uh, front court, that pass goes out of bounds as looked like Max Hankins was trying to feed over on the near side. It goes out of bounds. And the Tigers have the ball looking for their first lead of the contest. Here is Small. Gets around a screen, jacks up a three. That goes high off the glass, no good. Cleared out by Chris Ford of the Royals. They feed it down low from about 16 feet out. Shot is up and good by Keegan Culp. Culp gives the Royals back the lead at 11 to 9. 452 remains in the second quarter. The Tigers look to move it around, and Southeastern stays in a man-to-man, almost gets away from Small. Now it is stolen, bringing it up is Leach. He leaves it short off the glass, and as Chris Ford fights for the rebound, he'll say it went off of a Tiger, and it'll be the ball will belong to Southeastern. Leaving the game is Joel Wilcox, as Morris is back in. As Mason Hankins will inbound from the end line, and now Andre, Andre Small will leave for the Tigers. Nick Farrell back in. 11-9, Southeastern with the lead and the basketball as they look to inbounds, and they do just get it into Tyler Janney. Janney trying to find Chris Ford. Ford couldn't handle it as Janney had to save it off of the sideline, and the turnover will give the ball back to Fishers. Tigers looking to tie this one up again or take the lead with a three, driving in the lane. And trying to go up was Nick Farrell, but it'll be poked out of bounds. And the lead by Mason Hankins, and the ball will stay down at this end with the Tigers. 425 remains in the first half, 11-9. Southeastern with the lead, junior varsity game. Varsity to follow at about 7.30 on the inbound for a three. That one's up. That is good. Basket will be credited to Brandon Yoho. He gets the three. And the Tigers have their first lead of the game. Here's a three the other way by Keegan Culp. It's no good. And the Tigers get the rebound and take it the other way. 12-11, Fishers now with the basketball and a one-point lead. And as making the move was Brady Fleming, a whistle will stop play as a foul is going to be called against Southeastern. Mason Hankins is going to be called for the personal foul. That's his first 13 foul against the Royals as the Tigers inbound the basketball. They get it down low. Turnaround is no good by Cam Walter. Tigers bring it. Royals bring it back the other way. Three ball by Leach on its way up and good. Grant Leach with five points, and the Royals retake the lead, 14 to 12. 343 left to go in this first half. Dribble on the basketball right now is Brandon Yoho. He had that three to give the Tigers a lead. He'll leave it off for Brady Fleming. Fleming gets around a screen, and now we'll back it up to the midcourt line. He's met by Tyler Janney. Down low on a nice find, but missing the ba- missing the shot was Yoho, and the Tigers finally come away with a loose ball. They'll get it up front. Here is Janney. Drives, kicks left side. Chris Ford with the shot. Three bo- Three-pointer is no good. Rebounded by Keegan Culp, and the Royals will reset the offense. Driving in the lane, Chris Ford got too far under the basket, bounced it off the bottom of the backboard. And the Tigers have the basketball, trailing by two, with under three minutes left to go in this first half. That shot well short by Brandon Yoho, and the Royals have the basketball. (laughs) And now we'll have a personal foul, I believe going to be called against Brady Fleming as he reached around back on a wraparound and Tried to poke the ball away. Got a little bit too much arm, and he'll be called with a personal foul. That's his first second team foul. His substitutions now as Mason Hankins will leave. Max Hankins will return. It's Max Hankins, Grant Leach, who has the basketball. Max, 4-3 from the corner. He hits. Max Hankins, first bucket of the night. It's a three ball in the corner, and the lead's back to five. 
Tigers quickly back the other way. Three is up and no good by Farrell. And Nick Farrell misses, but the Royals come right back the other way. Keegan Culp for a three from the right wing. And head coach Ray Tolbert of the Fishers Tigers is going to call a timeout with 2.28 remaining in this first half. The Royals, who at one point led by two just a few moments ago, now find themselves trailing by eight with 2.28 remaining in the first half. At Hamilton Southeastern 20, Fishers 12, you're watching Royals basketball on Audio Sports Online. Brian Scott back with you at Hamilton Southeastern High School. Season opener for the boys basketball team. We are in the JV game with two minutes and 28 seconds remaining in the first half. And it's the Royals leading the Tigers by the score of 20 to 12. Royals with three three-point baskets in this second quarter. For the Tigers, they have been trying to live and die by the three. And for the most part, uh, they have been unsuccessful from the perimeter. Cam Walters leads the Tigers with four points as some full court pressure now by the Royals as the Tigers are able to get the ball inbounds. Dribbling with the basketball is Nick Farrell. He gets it into the front court and able to save it was Evan Long. Here's a pull-up jumper from 16 feet. Shot no good by Evan Long. And on the rebound, a personal foul is going to be called. And it will go against Hamilton Southeastern. Tyler Janney will pick up his second personal. It's the fourth team foul against the Royals as Tigers make some substitutions. Currently on the floor for Fishers, they have Brady Fleming, Lance Dollison, Andre Small, Cam Walter, and Zach Eaton, who was able to handle that pass. Nice ball fake. Three ball is up and no good, though, by Lance Dollison. Here come the Royals the other way. Up for three. Shot is up. Shot is no good by Keegan Culp. But the Royals get the basketball. Here's another three, and that is up, and that is good. Grant Leach is going to be credited with a three. That's his second three-point basket. He has eight points. And the Royals have their biggest lead at 11, 23-12. Val almost gets away from the Tigers. And a nice find as they find underneath the basket Cam Walter. Walter's able to put it up and in. He now has six. It's 23-14, a minute 23 left to go first half. Kick out. This is Leach with the basketball. Goes right side to Culp. And back now into the hands of Chris Ford. Ford all alone. He finds Tyler Janney in the corner. Shot no good and trying to get the rebound and going over the back is going to be Chris Ford. He will pick up the personal foul. That's his first 15 foul against Southeastern. They lead by nine with a minute nine remaining in this first half. 23-14 is our score. Junior varsity game. Varsity game to follow here at about 7.30 as the crowd, the stands begin to fill up here and then the Tigers get the ball in the front court a whistle will stop play as the Royals are going to be called for a foul and Chris Ford is going to be called for his second personal foul, it is the 16 foul so that means the next foul against Southeastern will send the Tigers to the line, a minute two remains in the first half and the ball almost stolen on the inbounds as Brady Fleming was trying to get the ball in bounds. Grant Leach, long arms, jumping up, almost stole the pass, but he goes off of Grant, and the Tigers will retain possession. Looking to get, and once again, and now we're going to have a technical call. As I believe Grant Leach is going to be called for a technical foul on that inbounds as he evidently stepped across. So they are going to put 
Cam Walters at the line. So I believe they're going to call Grant for slapping at the ball before it had been inbounded. Coach Calvin Bembry looking for an explanation. And meanwhile, Walters at the line to shoot a pair of technicals. He makes the first. He leads all Tiger scores right now with seven points. He'll have one more, and that one is good. So the explanation that Coach Bembry gets is that Leach slapped the ball out of Brady Fleming's hands on the inbound, and he gets called for the technical foul. It makes it 23-16. Royal still with the lead. Tigers with the basketball. They will throw it into the backcourt where Andre Small will retrieve it as he looks to bring it up front. Small makes a move, drives right side of the lane, shot stays on the rim, no good. Put back is up and no good. And the Royals come out with the basketball, driving in the lane is Chris Ford. And he can't get the bucket to fall, but or get the get the ball to fall through the bucket, I should say, but he is going to head to the line to shoot a pair of free throws. Freddie Fleming is going to be called for the personal foul. That's his second. Only the third team foul against the Tigers, and Chris Ford heads to the line to shoot a pair. 23-16 is our score. 44.7 seconds remain in this first half as Chris hits the first of two. Again, the stands filling up here at Hamilton Southeastern for what should be a good varsity game. Zach Irvin and the Southeastern Royals as the second one is in for Chris. His first two points, 25-16 is the score. 40 seconds remain in this first half. Andre Small with the basketball. He is picked up by Tyler Janney. Almost loses a good defense by Janney. And now five seconds, closely guarded. Coach Ray Tolbert saying that there was separation, but the official doesn't see it that way. And Tyler Janney's defense causes the turnover to give the ball back to Southeastern. Up by nine with 25 seconds remaining in the first half. We'll see if they play for the final shot. Janney with the basketball, drives in the lane, leaves it off for Scholl. This is Mason Hankins, 4-3. Mason has his first bucket of the season. It's a three, and the lead is now 12 for Southeastern. They feed down low. They get it into the hands of Walter, and Walter, who's pretty much been all of the offense for Fishers, three ball is up. It's no good by Mason Hankins from three quarters, and that's the end of the first half. Junior varsity game between the Southeastern Royals and the Fishers Tigers. It is Southeastern with a 28 to 18 lead. Check back with us here in about 10 minutes and we'll have second half action. You're watching Hamilton Southeastern basketball on audiosportsonline.com.
Welcome back to Hamilton Southeastern High School. Brian Scott with you as we wrap up halftime activities here in the junior varsity game. Royals leading the Tigers by the score, 28-18. to 18. Leading score uh, on the uh, floor right now with 10 points is Cam Walters for the Fishers Tigers. Uh, for Hamilton Southeastern, Grant Leach has 8 points. Keegan Culp with 5. Tyler Scholl with 4. And then three points each for Max Hankins, Mason Hankins, two points for Josiah Johnson, and one point for Dominique Hall. Royals led by two after the end of the first quarter. They lead by ten at the half as we get ready for second half action here. It will be Southeastern with the basketball. Same starters. Well, not the same starters. On the floor right now to start the second half for Southeastern is Max Hankins, Tyler Janney, Grant Leach, Josiah John, or excuse me, uh, Tyler Scholl. And Josiah Johnson here is shot up by Max Hankins. It's no good. And the Tigers come away with a rebound. They feed it down low and a nice feed from Andre Small to Zach Eaton. Eaton puts it up. And Eaton has his first bucket of the game. And it's a 28-20 game as the Tigers come away with the steal. We'll try to set up the Tiger personnel in just a second. It's Andre Small with the basketball. Zach Eaton. Cam Walters who leads them in scoring. Max Morse and Nick Farrell. Those are your five on the court right now for the Tigers. They trail by eight, but they have the basketball just underway third quarter. Strong move to the cup. Fighting through the double team and a nice job by Cam Walters as he now has 12 points and what was a 10 point lead to end the first half has quickly been cut to six. As the Royals finally get it into the front court. Skip pass over. Shot is up. Shot is long and no good by Hall. And getting the put back and up and in is Tyler Scholl. And send him to the line as he was fouled on the put back. Looks like the foul is going to go against Max Moore. So the Tigers his first. First team foul in the second half. And to the line will be Tyler Scholl. Seeing if he can complete the three-point play. Scholl's free throw is no good. Morse clears the rebound for the Tigers. They trail by eight. Nice drive to the cup is left long by Farrell. Nick Farrell, but the Tigers get the rebound. And once again, it's like Cam Walters gets the rebound and he's going to go to the line to shoot a pair as Dominique Hall will be called for his first personal foul. First team foul against the Royals is... Walter's first free throw is up and good. Substitution now as Hall will leave and returning for Southeastern will be Jack Kramer. Walter, Cam Walter with one more free throw. He is 3 of 3 from the charity stripe. And make that 4 for 4 as he is perfect now. 14 points to lead all scores and its lead is back to 6. Some pressure by the Tigers. Southeastern's able to get it into the front court. Here's Tyler Janney. He is cut off by Small. Looks to get around a screen. Drives in the lane. Leaves it off with a right hand. That shot's no good. And the Tigers have the rebound. They will press it up here as Small left wing. Tries to cut in. Now will pull up for three and leaves it way short. But a nice save by Nick Farrell. He will give the ball over to Eaton. Eaton's three is long and Small saves it. But they try to find... Walton low, and it's stolen away by Josiah Johnson. He'll get it into the hands of Janney, who will give it to Max Hankins. Hankins' three is no good. Johnson with a rebound, and the Royals will reset their offense. Now they'll look at a 2-3 zone by Fishers. 3.45 remains in this third quarter. 30-24 to Southeastern with the lead and the basketball. Johnson getting around a shoal screen. Now he'll pull up. His jumper's no good. Kramer will tie it up underneath and the possession error will favor the Tigers Joel Wilcox will return to the lineup for Fisher as he will replace Max Morse and Dominique Hall will return for Southeastern he will replace Jack Kramer 30 to 24 that's our score to 334 excuse me in quarter number 3 Tigers with a the basketball they trailed by 10 but Looking to cut into that deficit. 
as Eaton gets it into the front court. Tries to feed Walters down low. Scholl's able to poke it away, but the loose ball is finally corralled by Andre Small. He will hand it off, and getting the bucket on the jumper is Nick Farrell. Nick Farrell, excuse me. 30-26, to 26, what was a 10-point lead for Southeastern has been trimmed to four, but after the loose ball, they find all alone underneath Tyler Scholl, and that puts the lead back to six for Southeastern. Under three minutes left to play third quarter. Southeastern with the lead, Tigers with the basketball. This is Andre Small. He'll kick it around right side. Southeastern staying in that man-to-man. Small with the basketball. As Tigers look to get it, here is Andre Small. He was trying to feed it down low to Zach Eaton, but lost control of the basketball. And that will give the ball back to Southeastern. Nick Farrell will leave. Brady Fleming will return for the Tigers. They trail by six with 2.32 remaining in this third quarter. 32-26, to 26, that's our score. Junior varsity game, varsity game to follow here. As the Royals with the basketball... This is Hall. He'll swing it around to Johnson. Johnson finds Scholl all alone, but Scholl puts the shot up too strong. And trying to get the loose ball, he is going to be called for the foul. That's the first foul against Tyler. It's the second team foul against Southeastern. As we hit the 210 mark left to go in the third quarter, 32 26, that is our score. Tigers have the basketball. Small looks to feed down low and loses it as Southeastern gets the basketball. They'll swing it around. Here's a three ball by Hall. His shot's no good. Tipped out to Tyler Janney. Janney feeds down low. Shot is up by Max Hankins. That one's no good. And the rebound's controlled by Fishers. Minute 39 left to go third quarter. We remain at 32-26. There's a three ball left up. No good by Zach Eaton. But a whistle and a foul will be called. As we find out who it was going to be called on, I believe it's going to be called on Josiah Johnson. It'll be his first team foul number four against Southeastern. A six-point lead for the Royals. A minute 34 remaining in this third quarter as the Tigers inbound the ball. And on the inbound, the three is launched. It is no good by Brady Fleming. And loose balls fought for underneath. And it goes off of a Tiger. And the ball will belong to Hamilton Southeastern. Southeastern looking to extend this lead. They led by 10. Janney. Finds down low, finds Tyler Scholl, and Scholl puts it up and in. Ten points for Tyler Scholl as the lead is back to eight. This is Andre Small working on Max Hank and drives the lane left side. little scoop shot. It's no good. Rebound controlled by Jack Kramer of Southeastern. He'll leave off for Tyler Janney. Janney dribbles left side into the lane, throws it back out. Almost lost, but to retrieve it is Max Hankins. He gives it to... Dominic Hall as the Royals move it around and finding on the right elbow, putting it up as good ball movement there by Southeastern. They put the lead back to 10 with 40 seconds remaining in this third quarter. Well, Fishers gotten it down, had brought the deficit down, and now they find Walters down low in the post. He can't convert. Southeastern runs the other way. Tyler Janney spins, and now he will leave it off. Max Hankins for three. Shot no good. The tap out goes and is controlled now by the Tigers. This is Brady Fleming with 16 seconds left. See if Tigers will play for the final shot. Coach Tolbert directing traffic, and now spinning and driving in the lane, leaving it off for Walters. Shot is rejected by Kramer, but Kramer got a little too much arm on that, and with 3.6 seconds remaining in the third quarter, Cam Walters is going to go to the line where he has been a perfect 4 for 4 so far in this contest.
Jack Kramer will be called for the foul. He thought he got all ball. Official says otherwise. Walter hits the first to two. Small will leave, and we'll see Drew Cutter for the first time on the court for the Tigers. 15 points for Cam Walter, and that's the first free throw he misses as Kramer gets the loose ball. Tyler Janney, three-quarter court is no good, and that's the end of the third quarter. Southeastern led by 10 at the half. They watched Fishers cut into that lead, but as we go to the fourth quarter, the Royals lead by nine at 36 to 27. We'll be back with the fourth quarter in just a moment. You're watching Southeastern basketball on Audio Sports Online. Welcome back to Hamilton Southeastern High School on a big, big season opening night here on a Tuesday night on a holiday week as the Royals open up their season with the Fishers Tigers. We're in the JV game, and it's been a good one right now, Southeastern. They had a 10-point lead. They watched that lead get whittled down but managed to get it back up to nine points as we begin this fourth quarter of play. And it will be a full house here come time for the varsity tip-off on the court right now for the Tigers to begin the fourth quarter Drew Cutter, Zach Eaton, Joel Wilcox, Brady Fleming and Max Morse for your Royals it will be Mason Hankins, Max Hankins, Grant Leach, Josiah Johnson and Jack Kramer. Quarter number four ready to begin glad you could join us here as the Royals tip off their basketball season, and it will be Mason Hankins with the basketball. Hankins drops it off right side. This is Leach. Leach tries to feed down into the low post to Cam Walter, but it's going to be kicked away, and the Royals will have the basketball, and now we are going to have a timeout called by Coach Calvin Bembry, a 30-second timeout with the Royals ahead, 36-27. to Don't go anywhere as... Again, we will have the varsity game set to tip off at about 7.30. And like I said, a good, good crowd here at Hamilton Southeastern. A busy week of basketball for the Royals. We'll have tomorrow night's girls basketball game against Fishers. That game will be at Fishers. The junior varsity game will be at 6 o'clock. We'll have the varsity game at 7.30. That will be audio only. Uh, join me tomorrow night from Fishers High School as head coach Chris Huppenthal's Lady Royals currently ranked number one in the state of Indiana with a record of 3-0 and coming off of a big win last Friday in their HCC opener against Westfield. Royals inbound the ball. They get it into the hands of Mason Hankins and now they look over a 2-3 zone. Kramer works the post, swings it around. Here's Leach for three. His shot no good. Ball tapped out of bounds by Max Hankins, and it'll belong to the Tigers. Tigers have the basketball. They trail by nine just underway in this fourth quarter of play. A lot of blue in the stands and one section of red across the way as Eaton will bring the ball across. Cam Walters right now leads all scores with 15 points for the Tigers. As now dribbling the basketball, Brady Fleming. Fleming gives it up to Cutter. Cutter leaves it off. Here's a two put up. Shot is no good. Underneath with the basketball is Morse partially blocked, and the Royals come away with the basketball. This is Grant Leach, drives baseline. He will give it out to Mason Hankins as they move the ball around. Here's Josiah Johnson. His shot no good. Rebound tapped out and into the hands of Drew Cutter, and we're going to have a foul call, I believe, on Mason Hankins on a reach-in. It'll be the fifth team foul against Southeastern. It is against Mason Hankins. That's Mason's second. 
fifth team foul. Tigers, only one team foul. Nobody in any type of foul trouble on either side. As the Tigers will inbound the ball with 5.01 remaining in the ball game, trailing by nine at 36 to 27. Zach Eaton with the basketball. He'll give it up to Cutter. Cutter guarded by Max Hankins. Cutter gets around a screen, and on the pick and roll, Wilcox falls in the lane, and it'll be tied up, and the possession error will favor the Tigers. Wilcox tried to get in on the pick and roll, but the ball eluded him, and the Tigers, though, maintain possession, and now we have a whistle away from the ball. And this one's going to go against the Tigers as they walk the other way. Now called this against Joe Wilcox. That's his first team foul number two against Fishers. So we remain at 36 to 27. 4:43 remains in this ball game. As the Royals have a nine-point lead and the basketball as Leach looks, as he will finally give it up to Max Hankins, left side to Leach once again. Johnson sets a screen and Leach with a wraparound layup. It's no good. Put back by Kramer is no good. And now on the rebound, we'll have a whistle stopping play. And it's going to go against Southeastern. Jack Kramer will be called for his second personal foul, the 16 foul against the Royals. So we've played almost two minutes here in this fourth quarter. Neither team has yet to score. Here's a three ball launch. Cutter shot no good but a whistle and trying to establish position down low I believe. Let's see what the call is. They will call the foul against Jack Kramer. That will be his third and it is a 17 foul, so that means Joel Wilcox is going to go to the line to shoot one of the bonus. Kramer and Johnson will leave as Dominique Call and will, retu- will re-enter the lineup, as will Tyler Scholl. Meanwhile, Joel Wilcox will be at the line to shoot one of the bonus. 404 remains in this fourth quarter. A nine-point lead for the Royals as more substitutions are made. Brandon Yoho will return, and Drew Cutter will leave for the Tigers. And Joe Wilcox misses the first of the one-and-one, and Scholl gets the rebound for Southeastern. Outlet pass up front to Grant Leach. He will leave it to Mason Hankins over to Scholl. Scholl from about 12 feet. No good. Rebound controlled by the Tigers. They trail by nine. And a long three from the corner is up. It's good by Brandon Yoho. Yoho with his second bucket. It's another three. He has six points. And the lead's been cut to six. 36 to 30. And now we'll have a foul down here at the southeastern end, or a whistle as the ball goes out of bounds. Southeastern maintains possession. They get the ball into Scholl's hands, and the Tigers will go into a 2-3 zone. Leach leaves it off for a haul back to Leach. They'll go back up top to Max Hankins. Left side, Leach. 3.22 remains in the fourth quarter. Royals with a basketball. Hall goes outside, finds Mason Hankins, and Hankins hits the three. Mason with six points. The lead's back to nine for the Royals. Driving baseline stripped by Grant Leach. His driving baseline was Lance Dollison. It goes out of bounds, and we will have a timeout called on the court by, I believe, Tigers head coach Ray Tolbert. 308 remains in this fourth quarter. Southeastern with a 39-30 lead. Don't forget, we'll have varsity action coming up here. At around 7.30, as we get our first look at Zach Irvin, Paul Furlan, and the rest of the Southeastern Royals as head coach Brian Satterfield's team tips off what hopes to be a very, very promising 2012-2013 campaign. Royals come in 
as the preseason number seven team in the state of Indiana. And we will have all the action right here on Audio Sports Online. If you're ever curious about what games we are broadcasting, just go to Audio Sports Online, click on the Hamilton Southeastern link. That'll let you know what games we've got. With the boys team having the big Thanksgiving weekend games up in the Gary area, the girls will have, of course, the big, big the Hall of Fame Classic over in Newcastle, and that's already shaping up to be a doozy with Southeastern going up against Columbus North in the first game. Those two teams currently one and two, but Coach Huppenthal in the coach's podcast not looking ahead. He's got a tough game against the Tigers tomorrow night and then another one Saturday against Carmel as the Tigers get the ball inbounds out of the timeout. They feed into Wilcox back up top. Tigers trail by nine halfway through this fourth quarter. 39-30 to 30 is the score. Dribbling is Yoho. He'll kick it back out. This is Dollison. Dollison working on leash, gets in the paint, kicks it out. Three ball on its way is too strong by Yoho, and the rebound's controlled by Mason Hankins. Mason will get the ball in the front court for the Royals, feeds it off to Max as Max drives lane, gets it out to Dominique Hall. Hall gives it over to Leach. Leach will kick it back out. 2.30 remains in the fourth quarter, 39-30. to Southeastern with the basketball and the lead, and the Tigers with plenty of fouls to give. This time it'll go against Brandon Yoho on as the ball went into Max Hankins' hands. The third team foul against the Tigers. Royals already have seven team fouls, putting the Tigers in the bonus. Josiah Johnson will return. Dominique Hall will take a seat. So Max Hankins, Mason Hankins, Tyler Show, Josiah Johnson, and Grant Leach on the court right now for your Royals. And as the double team comes against Grant, we'll have a foul called against the Tigers. Foul go against Lance Dollison. That's his first fourth team foul against Fishers. And now we will have a timeout by Coach Calvin Bembry. 30-second timeout called for the Royals with 224 remaining in this fourth quarter. Southeastern with a 39-30 lead. They led by 10 at the half. Nine after the end of the third quarter, and that's where we are right now here in the fourth. Fishers tried to make a run there in that third quarter to cut into the deficit. The Southeastern able to lengthen it back out. Currently leading all scores with 15 points is Cam Walter. Leading score right now for your Royals with 10 points is Tyler Scholl in this junior varsity contest. And the varsity game to follow here with a tip-off scheduled for right around 7.30. And it's going to be a packed house here here at Hamilton Southeastern. And what promises to be a uh, exciting season opener for your Southeastern Royals. We'll have all the action, of course, here on Audio Sports Online. And if you miss any of the ball games or want to relive any of the action this season, just go back to Audio Sports Online and... You'll have an on-demand podcast this season. We are also on YouTube, so feel free to share those on your Facebook page or wherever you might like. Look up YouTube, look Audio Sports Online, subscribe to our feed, and you'll know when we have those games put back up. I'll, we'll try to have them up to within about 24 hours of the conclusion. Southeastern with the basketball and the Tigers with fouls to give. I might have given one up a little easily there as... Lance Dollison with a little bit of a slap on the back. It's Dollison second, not actually aggressively going to steal the ball, but just to commit the foul, hoping to get a steal on the inbounds. 15 foul against the Tigers, 218 remain. They get the ball into the hands of Mason Hankins, and now a reach in by Nick Farrell. And that will be the 16 foul against the Tigers. Actually, they called that foul against Zach Eaton, so that'll be his first. Team foul number six. So both teams will be shooting the bonus for the remaining two minutes and 16 seconds. And as they get the ball into the back court, we'll have a whistle to stop play, and the Royals are going to be shooting free throws. 
Foul will go against Nick Farrell. His first team foul number seven, and Max Hankins will head to the charity stride for one and one. Max's first free throw rims out, and Wilcox has the rebound for the Tigers. He'll get it in the hands of Eaton. Eaton back out to Dollison. Dollison drives the lane, puts the shot up. He won't draw the buck, won't get the bucket. He is going to draw a foul. 205 remain in this fourth quarter. The foul will go against Josiah Johnson. That's his second team foul number eight. And Lance Dollison will head to the line for the one-on-one. Or actually two shots. First shot is no good. Dollison yet to score in this contest. And he misses the first of two. Both teams in the bonus. Royals with eight team fouls. Tigers with seven. And Dollison's second free throw is good. He has his first point. 39-31 is our score as the Tigers with some full court pressure. Mason Hankins gives it off to Grant Leach. Leach... He's caught. He'll give it to Max, and now we will have a whistle and a timeout, I believe, is going to be called by Royal head coach Calvin Bembry as the Royals in danger of not being able to get the ball into the front court. We have a minute 59 left to go in this fourth quarter. Southeastern with a 39-31 lead over the Tigers from Fishers. Again, big crowd here gathering for the varsity game to follow coach Brian Satterfield as he mentioned seven players graduating off of that last year's half of last year's team including Mr. Basketball in Indiana Gary Harris Gary now playing for Tom Izzo's Michigan State Spartans coach Satterfield talked in the coach's podcast this week about the opportunity to go up and watch one of coach Izzo's practices and very impressed with how they did things up at Michigan State but also very anxious looking forward to this year's team which will be headed by Michigan recruit Zach Irvin Zach one of a few seniors along with Paul Furlan and the reserve team that went 19-1 and last year is looking for their first win this year there you have a 39-31 lead as Jack Kramer will inbound the ball for Southeastern. Up by eight with a minute 59 left to go. Kramer will give it into Leach. Here comes the double team. Leach loses the basketball and it'll belong to the Tigers. Leach caught on the baseline. Double team came and he couldn't hold on to the basketball. And the ball will give it, that turnover will give the ball back to the Tigers trailing by eight. Evan Long will leave, as will Nick Farrell. As get a little more length in there as Drew Cutter is going to leave as they still are. Brandon Yoho and Brady Fleming in. So the Tigers with the basketball trail by eight and a minute 55 left to go in the ball game. Zach Eaton with the basketball drives baseline. Tried to get it into the hands of Nick Farrell. It was off of Farrell and then off of a Royal. And Southeastern couldn't corral the loose ball. And it'll be long to Fishers. Fishers on the inbound trail by eight. A minute 45 left to go in the fourth quarter. This is Fleming with the basketball. Goes left side to Dollison. Tigers being patient, but they trail by eight. Here's a three on its way by Dollison. Shot no good. Controlled by Hall for the Royals. He'll get it into Mason Hankins' hand. Mason over to Max. Max tries to dribble through the double team, and a whistle will stop play as the foul will go against the Tigers, and it'll send Max Hankins to the line for one in the bonus. Zach Eaton will be called for the foul. That is his second. It is the eighth team foul. Both teams with... 18 fouls and Max Hankins will go to the line for the one and one Max has three points in the game he missed his only free throw attempt earlier in this fourth quarter and he goes back to the line to shoot one in the bonus
First of the one and one is up. It's good, and he'll get the bonus. Forty to thirty-one. Free throw here would stretch the lead back to double digits at ten. Second free throw is up. It's good as Max hits the back end of the one and one. A forty-one to thirty-one lead for Southeastern. Dribbling it up is Eaton. A three ball on its way by Brady Fleming is no good. He'll get his own rebound. He'll put it up. That's no good. And he puts it back up and in. So good job by Fleming staying with it. As we approach one minute left to play in this fourth quarter. One minute left. 41-33 is our score. Grant, there's Leach. He'll give it over to Kramer. Almost lost it, but Max Hankins is able to bring it out as Royals look to kill some clock, and as they get the ball into the hands of Grant Leach, foul called against the Tigers. That'll be the ninth team foul. And it'll send Grant to the line, shooting the one and one with 51.3 seconds remaining. The foul will go against Brady Fleming. That is his third. Team foul number nine for the Tigers. So Leach will be at the line shooting one and one. 41-33, that's our score. 51.3 seconds remain in this JV game. Varsity game to follow here at about 7.30. Grant's first free throw rattles around and falls. Grant now with nine points. He can make it ten if he can convert the back end of the one and one. More substitutions for Coach Tolbert's Tigers as they trail by nine and Leach can make it ten here with a free throw. Second free throw is up. It is good. Grant has ten points. The lead is back to ten with 51.3 seconds remaining. Nick Farrell goes right side to Fleming. Fleming's three is no good. Rebound is controlled by Max Hankins. He will give the ball up to Mason and Mason will be fouled by Brandon Yoho. It should be Brandon Yoho's second. That is the tenth team foul. So the Royals are now in the double bonus as Mason will shoot a pair. Mason with six points. First trip to the line tonight. As first of two hits front iron and gets the kind roll and drops. As Tyler Scholl and Josiah Johnson return, Grant Leach will come out, and Johnson will be coming in for Mason Hankins, the shooter. One more free throw for Mason. He hits them both. He has eight points as Mason leaves. Johnson comes in. It's a 12-point Southeastern lead with 39 points. Two seconds remaining as Mason quickly heads to the locker room as he will be, no doubt, dressing for the varsity game. Tigers inbound it. Nice ball fake. They try to get it out, but the pass is stolen away from Hall and then coming in and tapping it out of bounds is Fleming for the Tigers, but it will remain in possession of Southeastern. So Coach Bembry's team as Johnson is going to be pushed out of bounds by Brandon Yoho. That'll be his third, and Josiah will be heading to the other end to shoot a pair of free throws. For the Tigers, they got off to a bit of a cold start. They were jacking up quite a few threes in that first quarter. They managed to get it close there in the third, but Southeastern extended the lead as the first free throw by Josiah is missed as the Royals have the lane cleared. 45-33, that's our score. 29.3 seconds remain. We expect the varsity game to begin uh, probably a little after 7.30 as this JV game winds down. Josiah hits the second free throw. He has three points. 46-33 is our score. As we are under 25 seconds remaining in this contest. Tigers, Brady Fleming drives baseline. He has that one rejected by Jack Kramer, and the ball will stay down at this end and 
the possession of the Tigers. They trail by 13 with 17.9 seconds remaining. They get the ball inbound. Nice little reverse flip is no good by Nick Farrell. And he can't get the bucket, but he will go to the line to shoot free throws. Foul is going to go against Kramer. That's his fourth. Team foul number nine. It's Nick Farrell at the line to shoot. First free throw is up. It's good. And the third point for Farrell. And he'll have one more free throw. Second free throw is up. It is also good. Four points for Nick Farrell. 11 point lead for Southeastern. Johnson outlet pass to Kramer. Kramer up and he will lay it over the rim with one hand. Jack Kramer with four points. Long three on its way. No good. Kramer with a rebound and that will be the end of it as the clock reads zeros and the Southeastern Junior Varsity, they take their first game of the season as they defeat the Fishers Tigers by the score of 48 to 35. Stay tuned. Coming up in about 20, 25 minutes, we'll have tonight's varsity game between Hamilton Southeastern Royals and the Fishers Tigers right here on Audio Sports Online. We will be disconnecting and then again check back with us in about 20 minutes. <laughs> 